Hello, hello everyone. It's been a while since I've talked to y'all one to one, mano a mano, mano a mano. So I have I'm just gonna get right to the point about what we're gonna be going over. So I wanted to talk about negativity. And this stems mainly from something recent, at least as recent as I've been at, at time of recording that unfortunately a dragon's dogma youtuber infinite cringe has stepped away from youtube because of the mounting criticism of her actually enjoying dragon's dogma 2 with no like caveats attached and whatnot unlike how i did in my review of it and that's just she was just uh, like heavens forbid she actually enjoys a game, you know? Heavens forbid anyone just unequivocally enjoys something, right? You know? Like, it's just so dumb. It's just so stupid. Like, duh, you're supposed to be cynical and dead inside like everyone else. No. No. She should have been able to enjoy the game without having a bunch of hecklers and and whatnot the, the and and i fully attribute it to how mainstream that it got before dragon's dogma 2 came out we were a nice little community of of people who were just chill because we only had dark arisen and now now what do we got bubkiss nothing zip zilch because now we have a bunch of people who saw it in this spotlight it got put on as a spotlight instead of being overshadowed because back when either I think either one or Dark Arisen came out, it came out at around the same time as Skyrim, I think. So it's um you can fact check me on that or whatnot, I don't mind nor do I care, but I know that it got it got overshadowed by some other game and therefore didn't have as much of a boom as I'm sure Capcom would have wanted. But because of that, it got a cult following, which made it so that the people who legitimately enjoyed the game, even throughout all of its faults, its ups and downs, were able to enjoy it and see it for the amazing game that it was. But now, now it's just a whole bunch of mainstream BS. And so now, now what? Now you have a bunch of people who attributed to the f and 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 the worst shit about it right is that it was all false oh, oh not all of it but a lot of it was false information people were over exaggerating the microtransactions acting like capcom's never done this before when they've done it with devil may cry they've done it with resident evil they are capcom right yeah and it's like they've done it with those games before and they didn't get shit on for it because everyone who played those games, instead of the new people who came in and sullied the entire pot, realized that these microtransactions were probably because a higher-up really needed something to boost their numbers. And because of that, the devs were essentially had their arm twisted in order to put in something to break in the big bucks. So they instead put it on something that didn't matter. Like in Dragon Dogma, Dragon's Dogma's 2 case, Rift Crystals. You can easily get Rift Crystals throughout the game. There is no need to buy a single thing with real world money in the microtransaction store in Dragon's Dogma 2. That was a misconception that people spewed because they were tired of microtransactions. That makes sense, that's understandable, but to sully the, a game with false information about it. It's just awful. Just awful. Dog shit. How fucking dare you? And that was just one part. Now, I won't say that I have been nothing but kind to the game. As you can see from the video that I did on it, I was critical about it, but that's because I fucking love Dragon's Dogma. And by every single god, whether they be real or not, I so desperately wanted to have this game be good I wanted to love it I wanted to love it with every fiber of my being 
but something just didn't click. Something just didn't click. No, it, it didn't hit that same magic that the first game did, that the that Dark Arisen did. It just it just wasn't there, and I just attribute that to the fact that it's different, you know, because it's not Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, but better, you know, it's its own thing, and I was being unfair to it. I will admit that. I will admit that wholeheartedly that I was unfair to it. Even now, I'm thinking I might free up some space in my computer or I'll wait till I make myself a new computer so that it can house all of my games and um, try it again. I'm willing to give it another shot just because I want so desperately to like it. But there were so many parts that were good, but there were other parts that were disappointing or mediocre that I want to not have to think about when I'm thinking about the game, but eventually it just comes up. It's just unfortunate that you just can't like something. That whole kerfluffle, that whole, all that bullshit with Dragon's Dogma 2 was awful. It could, it couldn't have happened to a worse game in my opinion. To a, to a, it couldn't have happened to a, to any other game and it wouldn't have been as bad. But it happened to Dragon's Dogma. And a lot of people got the wool pulled over their eyes, and a lot of people realized that, as well, counter counteractively, they realized, you know what, all the jank in the first game and whatnot may have been intentional instead of a product of the times and time constraints. And that doesn't mean it's bad. It's different, but it doesn't mean it's bad, and bad is subjective. You don't like it, that's perfectly fine. Obviously, Infinite Cringe loved it. She loved it. But she got chastised about it because she actually enjoyed something that everyone was dogpiling on. And because she was so ingrained in the Dragon's Dogma community, it hit her especially hard. And this gets this this pulls all back around to the idea of negativity being such a powerful force that it's honestly very concerning. What I mean by this is that, I mean, I'm sure this is like not news, you know? This isn't news to any of you, I'm pretty sure. Look at Shitter, look at Reddit, look at Tumblr, look at literally any goddamn site and you will quickly see that it's just that any amount of negativity is, is amplified by like 10 times because of and and i think I, I keep on saying this word wrong anonymity because of that anonymous feature because you can do whatever the fuck you want apparently and not have any repercussions because of that you can just do whatever you want be as much of a shitter as you want you can spread misinformation and this has been a detriment for the past few fucking years it has been such a detriment. You see all these people so fucking negative and you wonder how do you live your life? How are you able to live your life like this? Constantly negative, constantly on the downturn for things, expecting the worst and never like being happy. How? I mean, I get it if the if the world has beat you down and whatnot. And that 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 at least is a is a semi-justifiable reason. But you know what you need to do? Keep to yourself. If you're gonna be negative, fine. Be negative. Fuck it. You're a miserable little sack of shit. But don't, don't affect other people. Don't have it infect other people with your negativity, with your negative bullshit. Don't do that. That's awful. If you do that, fuck yourself. I'm putting a stance here. You can be critical. Being critical does not equal being negative. Being critical, like I was in my review, means it's like, my criticality was because I love this game. It came out of a place of love. But I'm pretty sure a majority of all the negativity that people have had over the past, like, 10 or so years, like, decade or so, has been solely because they're bored, it's their thing, or they're a bunch of shitheads. Because shitheads have been... In pretty, you know, high high supply. All that that we've realized of how many people, when 
they don't have to worry about getting smacked in the face for all of their negative emotions. They realize that they can say whatever the hell they want. And that's awful. That's awful. It's awful that we've we that this is the type of thing that we've nurtured. And I hate that. So and 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 this is hap and, and here's the thing. This isn't just like the odd heckler when it came to infinite cringe. It was not just a random heckler in like a live stream or, or a comment. It wasn't just that. It was like multiple comments on her live streams constantly of people souring the mood all throughout like the entire live stream. It even happened within her discord. Even her mods have gotten caught up in all the bullshit. And that's a goddamn shame. That you that even the people that you fucking trust to mod anything, whether it be a Twitch, YouTube, Discord, anything. You trust those people to be an impartial committee that is that helps you keep the peace. And the fact that they got caught up in all that bullshit as well, and in, in, in that bouts of negativity and fighting the people who are overtly negative shows how malicious people have become maliciously negative what's going on why it's just it's so unfortunate that this has happened and because of all and again because of all this i kind of want to go back to dragon's dogma 2 just to see if i've been if i was too hard on it who knows you might see another video about it in the future sometime probably next year Maybe, who knows, but it's just, th this whole negativity thing is just, people are just so ready to be negative, and it sucks. It sucks. It's awful. I think we should learn to be nicer to each other, obviously. Don't be a bunch of shitters to each other if they, you know, if they haven't started any sort of bullshit like that. You don't go into a neutral conversation being a negative son of a bitch. You just don't. It just like at least in my eyes, you just don't. I may I you this may sound naive, but that's what I feel. That's what I believe. And the fact of the matter is, is that it you showing showing genuine positive emotion, people will call you cringe for it. Unironically. People will try to be like in, in like a vein of irony, be like, oh, it's so cringe. It's like But some people actually mean that, and that's fucking wild that's wild i just i don't i don't get it i don't get it it's just <sighs> i just don't know why i don't know why this is such a problem i guess when you can do whatever the fuck you want and not have your real life attributed to it this is what people do they become a bunch of shitheads and don't allow people to just enjoy things. It's it's not only the fact that you're negative. It's the fact that you can't allow other people to enjoy the things that you don't enjoy. You don't like something. Cool, bro. Fucking leave. It's the thing I don't get. If you don't like something, you don't have to stick around for it. You never have to. But people keep sticking, sticking around and being overtly negative. And it's like... It's almost like it's a bit. It's almost like it's their whole, like, like, character trait is to be negative. Isn't that a fucking sad and awful experience? Being that type of person. Being the negative guy. Being the negative to the point of almost having a personal vendetta type guy. Or gal, or whatever the, whoever the fuck. I don't give a fuck. And it's just like, why? Why? It just sucks that this has been happening. And I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna sit here and be I, I'm not like trying to glaze Dragon's Dogma 2 from earlier. You know, obviously I have problems with it. Obviously I think it's not worth the full price. Hey, hey, by the way, for those of you who've been on the fence about Dragon's Dogma 2, it's gotten a good amount of performance fixes. As well as there's a sale going on, like 40 something sale that's down to like around 40 dollars. 
I think it's a good game worth the sale price, but I would not pay full price for it. And I think a lot of people probably agree with that. And that's not being negative. That's being critical. I just don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why this is the way things are nowadays. Things, and, 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 and this is especially egregious involving video games because it's like, I've seen a comment about it on, on, the, on the Reddit talking about the IC situation. And they're saying, things can't just be middle of the road. For a lot of people, things are either a 1 out of 10 garbage shouldn't have been made type bullshit, or it's 10 out of 10, I'm, um, you know, sitting there sucking its meat until it's sideways, you know? And it's tiring to see this, this the, these extremes. Things can't just be okay. I want to say, and I'm going to sound like a dude who doesn't fact check his shit, but I think I gave DD2 a middling score, but I knew it was somewhere in the middle. I, I think it was above average or like a six or seven. There are lots of things that aren't making it like the greatest game that I had hoped for, but that was my fault. I got, I got attributed to the hype. I got, I got sucked in. I got sucked into the hype. I will admit it. I didn't go around See, here's the thing. I mind my own fucking business, for the most part. I mind my own business. I don't get into other people's bullshit and start arguments, because that's such a waste of time. And people love doing that shit all across everywhere on the internet. And it's like, who the fuck has time to do this shit when we have such a limited amount of time on this goddamn earth? And you're sitting here you know, trying to start shit with people about shit that doesn't fucking matter. You are a loser. You are a loser. Simple as that. You're a loser McSpurg Lord. I don't fucking care. You suck. You suck. Go get a life. Go figure your shit out. And if your life sucks, then figure that shit out. Don't bring other- in the, the, at the very least, don't bring other people down. Bringing other people down to your shitty fucking level? Get a life. Touch grass. F do some fucking soul searching. Please. Because you're bringing everyone else down by doing this shit. Legitimately, if you are going to harass other people to the point where they lose the spark for anything, whether it be a game, a hobby, anything, you seriously need to get yourself fucking checked. Because it is wild that you think that that is acceptable behavior. I don't want that. And if you're a motherfucker who does that and you're subscribed to me, unsubscribe. Right fucking now. I don't want you here. If you're that type of person, fuck yourself. Get the fuck out. Anyone else who's a regular fucking human being with critical thought that doesn't cloud their judgment. That is allowed to be, you know, happy then I welcome you. But for all those other people who are Negative Nancy who did that shit with Infinite Cringe, if you come across this video, fuck yourself. If you're subscribed to me, unsubscribe. I don't give a fuck. Because I don't want you here. I don't need that negativity. We are here to foster kind-heartedness and as well as critical thinking. I don't want people be, you know, calling each other names and be like, oh, but it was a joke. It's like, fuck you. You knew it wasn't a joke. You're just trying to veil your hatred for other people as being a jokester. Eat shit. I I'm not having that negativity. I'm not saying we're glazing everything, by the way. And this is, again, the dichotomy. It's like either I'm glazing or I'm beating the shit out of it with a metal pipe. Things can just be neutral. It's like, hey, what's up? You know, neutral. And, then, and you know what? You don't like me? That's perfectly fine. You know what you don't need to do? Be putting all hateful ass comments and whatnot, and that's the thing I don't get. Another thing, I'm going on another tangent. It's 20 minutes now, I'm going on another tangent. But if you don't like something, you can easily just ignore it. 
The world, and especially the internet, is filled with so many ways to ignore something you don't want to see or you don't like. Whether it be concepts, people, groups, whatever. You don't have to interact with them. You don't even have to acknowledge that they exist. And, and no one will know. No one has to know. And it's easy. You want to know why it's so easy? Go on to tw go on to Shitter. Go on to Twitter right now if you can. If you're you know not in Brazil and you got fucked. I'm going on there right now. Go on to Twitter. Go to the little more section, settings and privacy. Go to I want to say privacy and safety. Mutant block. There's this miraculous thing called the block button. There's this miraculous thing called the mute button. It's called the muted features. And what that does, surprise, surprise, it blocks accounts, it mutes accounts, it mutes words, and it mutes notifications. Use them. Use them. I, and I'm going to say it again for the motherfuckers in the back. Use them. You're a fucking idiot if you're not using these goddamn muted words and you're getting into arguments on Twitter about shit you do. Like, oh my god, I don't want to see this. This got put in my timeline. Curate your experience. That is the lesson for all of this, is curate your experiences online. You don't want to see something? There are easy ways to go about that. At most, you see the thing you don't want to see once. And then you take the you take the necessary measures to never have to see that thing again. And you can be as silent as a mouse. As silent as a mouse. You don't have to make a big fucking fuss about it. You don't need to ruin the lives of others for it because you're a fucking loser. None of that. None of that, right? You just go into the following stuff, mute your shit, mute, mute shit you don't want to hear, or block the person you want to block, and you never see them again. You never see this concept again. Never. Never. And it's just like... You know... That's it. That's it. That's all you need to do. It's all you need to do. It's just the fact that this has been such a problem is wild. It's wild. Y'all motherfuckers need to leave each other alone, mind your own goddamn business, and, you know, the world, especially at least in America, is just so fucked nowadays, and to take it out on other people is just not fucking fair. It's just not fair. So, go do something with your life. Go do something. Anything else that's way more productive. And if you're going to be terminally online like a fucking loser, then at the very least you don't need to bring everyone else down with you. Wanka. Anyway. Sorry about all that rambling and ranting. For the people who aren't those types of people that I was talking about, then I welcome you with open arms. I hope that you enjoy my the rest of my content and if you're a regular who is also you know not a loser then i welcome you I, i'm glad that you're sticking around and if you got offended by any of this you're probably the type of person who does all the shit that i was talking about so you know what cry cry about it i don't care and that's all i'm gonna say about it because you know what <laughs> i'm not gonna be interacting with any of this <laughs> The instant I'm sending this out just to say my piece. I'm being negative about the negativity. I'm I'm attributing to the problem. Oh yeah. But this is the only time I'm gonna to attribute to it. And I'm not talking about anyone in specifically. I'm talking about the general idea. So anyone who's overtly negative online, fucking do something else with your life. Please. That everyone, including yourself, will be better off for it. <sighs> anyway, to almost 25 minutes later, I'm officially wrapping it up. I just wanted to talk about this. I felt like I wanted, I needed to talk about it. And we haven't talked one to one in a while. We, I haven't had these talky talks in a good while. But I'll see y'all in the next upload. Whenever that may be, you already know, I don't got a schedule. I really, if I release anything, it's usually at 2 p.m. where I am on a Tuesday or Thursday or on the weekends. I will catch you on the flip side. Have a good day, evening, twilight, night, wherever it be, wherever you are. Bye.